guys, it's Sue here. Go back to the third day of summer specials. And welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Unfiltered Me Season 3. So I just got back from my workout with my personal trainer. P.S. My personal trainer has no mercy. He does not care if I am suffering or in pain. All that matters to him is that I get all the reps done. So that was lovely. That was a lovely session. Yes. I am back. Took a shower. It is hot as summer, guys. And thus we are here with the summer specials. But anyways, today I want to share with you guys something that had happened to me. As you guys saw in the intro, I have gained back some of my weight, my fat. And uh, to be honest, guys, I did not see this coming. Uh, yes, this video was not planned. It was not part of the Unfiltered Me series season 3. I don't know if you guys remember, but for the first episode of season 3, I told you guys I had everything planned out. I now knew what I wanted to share with you guys through the videos, about what I learned through all of my journey. But this video was definitely not part of it. So, let me first start start with my skincare because uh, my skin's feeling dry. I'm going to first of course use the So Good Feels So Calm Toner Pad which is the toner pad that I made. It still to this day makes no sense. Like I'm, it still feels surreal. I'm like wow did I really just make a skincare product? And P.S. I don't know why it looks so red guys. I am not red in real life. I think the camera's just picking off a lot of redness because of my sexy lingerie. Uh huh. Oof. Oh, that feels so cooling. It is really, really hot, guys. It's getting, it's getting hot in her. Mm. So, as I was saying, I have definitely gained back some of that weight, some of that fat during the past two months, as you guys can see. And you know what, though? I'm not upset this time. I won't be reacting the way I did last time in the season one. In season one, I won't be bawling my eyes out because there are two reasons. And this is something that I want to really share with you guys. There's, there's something I have to let you guys know. Okay, so listen carefully. Listen, listen. First of all, I know the reason why it happened. And it be, it's because for the two months as I was preparing hard for the launch, for my brand, I wasn't able to take care of myself. I didn't have the time, I didn't have the energy to look after myself, to eat healthily, to sleep right, to um, to work out. I was just working every single day ten, for 10 hours um, from the moment I woke up to the moment that I went to sleep. So because I know the reason, I'm not upset because now that I have a bit more time, I can you know just go back to working on myself and I know I'll get back on track. The second reason why I'm not upset and I think this is such a huge improvement from last year is because I no longer place or base my value on my physical appearance and this is definitely not how it used to be before I think I used to place a lot of my value on how I looked so if I had lost weight and I looked thinner I would be so happy because I felt I would feel more pretty I would feel more I don't know special I guess and now the contrary if I gained weight I would feel so upset that I feel so so depressed because I just felt like my value or like my worth had decreased. Oh, by the way, I was using the uh, number three in Bodil Bodil Kersem, the number three serum, and I'm almost done with this. This is such a beautiful serum. This was definitely a product that I just kept reaching out my hand for, and I was like, you good. It really does smooth out my skin texture, which I love. For the cream, I'm going in with the Ohai Ohu Ono Red Cream. I absolutely love this stuff for the summer. So I no longer follow that equation, and instead, what I do place my value is on my personality, my actions, my temperament, my achievements, or how I'm able to go through my hardships, my persistence, my journey, my experiences. So all of those intangible things is what I base my value and what is is what I place my value on. And first of all, it feels really, really relieving. <laughs> I no longer obsess on how I look. So I have a little bit of love hand to attach to the side. I don't mind guys and I don't mind sharing those photos, those before after photos with you guys either because I I don't, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me because that's not what's important to me. I share it with you guys because in the process of me making that transformation, I can show you guys what I did, my persistence, my hard work, all of the things that I'm doing to take care of myself and I think that's what really matters. 
is that you take care of yourself in your own way. I'm sorry, I just have to like finish putting this cream on or we're gonna be here forever. It's the best cream for the summer. I'm serious, you guys. You might be like, it's just the cream, so big deal. But <laughs> you, you won't be saying that once you try it out. Lastly, for the sunscreen, I'm going to be using the Be Plain Clean Ocean Moisture Sunscreen. So like I said, it feels really, really relieving, refreshing, that I'm not obsessed about how I look all the time, which is how it used to be. And I think I really, really chained myself down and during those phases where I was so obsessed with how I look and you know there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself taking care of your appearance nothing wrong with that of course if you find pleasure in that like for example I love getting my hair done once in a while it feels really really nice but in the process if you're making yourself feel miserable I think that's when you need to really reconsider what you're doing to yourself you know are you really are you really doing it to be healthy and happy or is this just a detrimental factor in your life that's really weighing you down and so even though I didn't plan on making this video for my unfiltered me series I really really want to share this with you guys because it is such a huge improvement improvement my mindset on you know losing weight gaining weight which is something that I've done repeatedly over I don't know my goodness the last 20 years I don't know ever since I was a little kid and so back then I didn't understand the reason and I got really really upset about it but now I'm just like okay you know what there was a reason why this happened I think for me over the past year what I really realized is that I rather place my value and importance on those intangible things that I mentioned to you guys than place them on my shelf my outer shelf and these are just shells that our souls live in and so I rather focus on my soul on how my soul looks like I hope that if you're maybe going through the same thing as I am you're constantly gaining weight or losing weight constantly get, losing weight repeatedly uh, I hope that my I guess my journey my own journey my own experience can help you out a bit and so yeah and as a matter of fact I also have one more other thing that I want to show you guys I got this in-body machine and it's awesome because I've been wanting to get it for a very very long time so let's go I'm gonna explain to you guys all the shebang behind it all right so this is basically the in-body at home in-body and I've been wanting to get this for a very very long time I got this recently and basically what it does it analyzes your body fat muscle and visceral fat as I've always emphasized guys you do not want to focus on soul solely on your weight because it, it won't tell you much but what you want to look at and concentrate on is how much body fat you have you don't want to lose any more muscle so you want to lose the body fat and gain the muscle but anyways every gym in Korea as far as I know has one of these and so anytime that I want Want to analyze my body and see my progress I always had to wait the next day in the morning because uh, when you use this you're not supposed to eat anything um, it's best if you use this the first thing in the morning after you go to the bathroom before you have anything so so there were a lot of restraints <laughs> in me trying to analyze my body because I didn't have one at home and now I do and it's superb so let me tell you guys let me show you guys how it works it's like super simple basically you first enter your height and then you weigh yourself so let me just go on top all right hello Ooh, lovely 64 lovely lovely and then after oh I don't know why I stepped up and then you take one of these and you pose and we'll analyze your body all right, so you can see that it will tell you everything. So I have 31.2% fat. Ooh, great. That's that's great. Okay, and then for muscle, I have 24.0. I believe that's kilograms. All right, so kilograms, not so much. And then the great thing is that you can keep track of your progress. Like you can connect it to your phone, keep track of your progress. So it will help you out in your journey. So... <laughs> Uh, this is not it's not looking the best um, I'm really happy about my increase in muscle mass so I've been back I've been able to work out more often lately and so I'm happy about that I am not happy about my uh where is it my <gasps> percent body fat it did wow it did decrease a lot that's good that's good um it okay to be honest I'm gonna be real honest with you guys I had three slices of pizza last night so that will explain for this increase <laughs> Totes worth it, totes worth it though. But this is great because this is going to just help me get back on track on the right way and take care of myself in a healthy way, which is I think is super important. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to enjoy yourself, enjoy summer. 
work out, have a good time, have good quality time with yourself and your friends and family. Be careful of Corona, and I'll see you guys in my tomorrow's video. Bye!